Welcome dear viewers all. On this video, I will show you how to fix BCD boot issue when you tried to rebuild boot configuration data with the following error message, failure when attempting to copy boot files. BCD boot is a tool used via command prompt to rebuild the boot files on a computer to run the Windows operating system especially if the computer failed to start up normally with BCD blue screen boot loop. There are many sources for failure when attempting to copy boot files error, such as, selecting a letter of wrong partition, wrong configuration of boot partition, the language option not included or incorrectly included in the command line and the disk scheme options not included properly in the command line. Therefore, the solution will be different from PC to PC based on the Windows version and the disk scheme whether is GPT or MPR. I will show you how to fix all of them step by step, but before starting, you should know whether you have a GPT or MPR system as followings. Open command prompt. Type disk part and hit enter to open disk manager. Type list disk and hit enter. If you have asterisk under GPT column next to the disk number 0, then your disk scheme is GPT. If there is no asterisk, then you have an MPR disk scheme. If you have more than one disk with both GPT and MPR, rely on the disk that Windows is installed on, depending on the size of the disks. Solutions There are four suggested solutions that are related to each other, so it's important to try all of them in the same order starting by the first one. First solution, make sure you are using the correct letter for Windows partition as followings. Type Notepad and hit Enter. Click File tab. Select Open option. Click on this PC icon to show all your partitions. Determine which letter is the Windows partition. Windows partition usually takes the C or D letter but not the X letter, and it contains the Windows and Users folders. User folder will contain your account or profile name. In my case, the D is signed for Windows partition. Now execute the short form of BCD boot command again using the correct letter, BCD boot D colon backslash Windows. Replace D with the letter of your Windows partition. As you can see, the boot files successfully created now without error. Second solution. Activating the boot partition in MPR or BIOS based systems. Execute the following command. Bootrec slash rebuild BCD. Type BCD edit and hit enter to show the BCD data. Determine which letter is for the boot partition from device entry. In my case the D is assigned for boot partition. Execute the followings command. Disk part. Type list vol to show list of volumes. Select the boot partition using the following command. Cell vol 1. Replace the 1 with the volume number of your boot partition. Type active to activate boot partition. Select Windows partition using the following command. Cell vol 2. Replace the 2 with the volume number of your Windows partition. Type inactive to deactivate Windows partition. Type exit and hit enter to close disk part. Execute the BCD boot command to rebuild the BCD file. It's supposed that you are able to determine which letter is the boot partition, otherwise, you should watch the video from links in description to learn how to identify the boot partition and how to differentiate it from recovery partition. Third solution. Specify the default Windows language and disk scheme whether is GPT or MPR in the command line as followings. Type BCD boot D colon backslash Windows command without hitting enter. Press Shift plus F10 keys to open another command prompt window. Execute the following command to know the default system language. Dism slash image D backslash slash get intl. In my case, the default language is the United Kingdom English, so I will add ENGB to the command line after L option is shown. In the second CMD window, type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk and hit enter. In my case, the disk scheme is MPR, so I will add slash F BIOS to the command line. If you have a GPT system, add slash FUEFI to the command line instead. In rare cases, you may need to add all after slash F option to copy both BIOS and UEFI boot files. Because we specify the slash F option, we must also specify the slash S option to identify the volume letter of the EFI or boot partition. Back to the second CMD window and execute list vol command. In my case the C is the boot partition, so I will add slash SC to the command line, so the final form of command line will be as following bcd boot d colon backslash windows slash lengb slash f bios slash sc now hit enter to execute the command line as you can see the boot files successfully created without error fourth solution rebuild bcd manually in mpr and gpt based systems open command prompt type butrek slash rebuild bcd and hit enter make a backup copy for old bcd file using the following command bcd edit slash export c colon backslash bcd backup 
you can replace the C with another letter to save the BCD backup to another partition without problem. Type the following command to remove the hidden, system attributes, and read only properties from the BCD file. Attrib C colon backslash boot backslash BCD HSR. Replace C with the letter of your boot partition and not Windows partition. If you received an error message saying that path not found C backslash boot, that means you have selected a wrong boot partition or your disk table is GPT and not MPR. Rename or delete the old BCD file using one of the following commands but not both. Ren C colon backslash boot backslash BCD BCD dot old. Or Del C colon backslash boot backslash BCD. Type Butrek slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. Type yes or y and hit enter to add the Windows installation configuration to boot list. In GPT systems, the path into the BCD is different, so to rebuild BCD using this method do the followings. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk and hit enter. As you can see, the system is GPT as indicated by asterisk under GPT column. Type list vol and hit enter. If the EFI or boot partition didn't has a letter, you have to assign any letter to it as followings. Type cell vol 4 to select the EFI partition. Replace 4 with the number of EFI partition in your PC. Assign the V letter to the EFI partition using this command. Assign letter equals V. Execute list vol command again to see if the V letter assigned to EFI or not. Type exit and hit enter to close disk part. Execute the following command. dir slash a slash b slash sv. If the v is the boot partition, you will see the bcd file in this path. v colon backslash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot backslash bcd. If you see file called winre.wim, then the v is the recovery partition and not boot partition. Press shift plus f12 keys to open another cmd window. Type boot rec slash rebuild bcd and hit enter. Make a backup copy for old bcd file using the following command bcd edit slash export c colon backslash bcd dot backup type the following command to remove the hidden system attributes and read only properties from the bcd file attrib v colon backslash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot backslash bcd hsr copy the path of bcd from first cmd window delete the old bcd file using this command del v colon backslash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot backslash bcd Press the upper arrow key from keyboard to explore previously executed commands then execute boot rec slash rebuild bcd again. Type y and hit enter to add the windows installation configuration to boot list. Close the command prompt then click on continue button to restart your computer into windows operating system. Finally, it's important to read the video description and pinned comment to see if there is any update or modification for any method due to windows update or whatever. If you still have an issue, don't hesitate to add your question and we will try our best to help you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.